This video will highlight how to sequence all pockets, load all tools and set the tool offsets on the Haas controller. This normally would not be performed in a production environment as this process clears out all your tool pocket history. Consult your supervisor or trainer before doing this yourself. Insert the collet chuck into the BT40 toolbox. When you do this, ensure that the lug locates in the holder pin and then we'll engage the locking lead like so. Insert your cutting tool into the collet allowing for sufficient clamping pressure on the tool. Try to keep minimal amount of cutter hanging out from the end, okay, and never clamp on the coating, on the heat treatment coating of your cutting tool. Tighten the collet nut, use the supplied spanner and tighten appropriately. Do not over tighten the collet nut. Continue on with the process shown until all your tools are set up in their collet holders. To sequence all pockets, press the current command key which is located within the display key section. Press the page up button to get into the pocket tool table. Press the origin key which opens up the origin submenu. Highlight sequence all pockets. and press the right enter key. A warning will come up. Do you wish to sequence all pockets? Y for yes, N for no. All pockets are now sequenced and you're ready to begin the installation process of all tooling. Now that the pockets are sequenced, we can now start loading all the tools into the machine and set their tool offsets. Press the MDI key which is located in the mode key selection. Input T1 and press the automatic tool change forward or reverse key to call up that tool. Tool 1 is now called up and we can insert the collet into the spindle. When installing the tool into the spindle. Give the spindle a light burst with a rag. In this demonstration we'll be loading tool one which is a 50mm face mill. Always suggested never touch the cutting tool. Hold the cutting tool with a rag. Okay, we wipe the taper on the collet before we insert it. Press the button up the top here. That will blow a jet of air and clean any debris out of the spindle nose. Here we go. Sure it's secured, remove the button and the tool is now in place. To set the tool offsets using the Renishaw wireless probing system shown here, press the hand jog key in the mode key line. Arrow across, leaving the first tool offset page blank, as the Renishaw probing software program will enter these figures for you. Enter the data specific to your tool in the next category, and we'll do that now and come back. Over here, we have inserted the large 50 millimeter shell mill, or a face end mill. In our line, we've typed in, it's a five flute cutter. The actual diameter of that face mill is 50 mil. When I arrow across, Haas will give you a graphic display of what it is you're putting in the spindle. And we've picked section three called a shell mill. We're arrowing across now. These ones are left blank for now. We need to measure the approximate length of the tool. Use your ISCAR steel rule or similar and measure from the spindle nose the approximate length. And as you can see here, it's about 103. 
We use ISCAR tooling on all our CNC machines and manual machines here at the college. And the reason I use this car is because of the support and service I get from them. And if we look over here, we have Iskar Craig, who's uh, kindly come over here today, who's actually uh, knows his way around Haas CNC very well, and he's giving me a bit of a hand with this video. Right, we'll just um, cut back to this table again. I've filled out the relevant cells in the, in the row. Uh, for the approximate length, I actually had to measure that, and I showed you before how to do that. Uh, approximate diameter is 50 mil. The edge height, so if we arrow across here, Haas will actually prompt you on the control and tell you where to measure. If we go to the next one, edge height, it's telling you how much of the cutting tool is hanging uh, below the boss there. Uh, you can also type in, in uh, the tool torrents that you want, where and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave mine at zero at the moment. Over here now, I've selected what type of probing do I want. So with the Renishaw software that they load to the machine for you, they give you these options to do you want to probe, uh, what sort of probing do you want, length, length probing only, length and diameter probing with rotating. That's option three and we've picked option three there. We've uh, filled out all the relevant data now that we need. We've got the tool and the spindle and now we're going to perform the tool offset measure uh, using the Renishaw system. Uh, we have to shut the door guys because it's an automated process. I'm going to use the tool offset measure key press cycle start and it's beginning to run the program now the probing cycle has begun